So the new Windows 11 start menu is now rolling out to the stable release of Windows 11 25H2 and also on 24H2. I think most of you guys already know this. 25H2 is based on 24H2 and if you want to upgrade to 25H2 from 24H2 it's a really small update. Maybe that's the reason why you know all the features of 25H2 are also going to be available on 24H2. So it doesn't matter whether you upgrade to 25H2 or stay on 24H2 because again they are basically the same thing. In my opinion, you should just upgrade it to 25H2 if you are already on 24H2. Now, let me show you guys how to get the new start menu in the stable release of 25H2 or 24H2. It's a gradual rollout. So first, open the Windows updates in settings. And here, make sure to enable this. Get the latest updates as soon as they are available. Toggle this on. And after that, check for update. And now you should be able to see this new update, KB5067036. Once you get this update, it will ask you to restart your PC, restart and uh, check the new start menu. Now, this is a gradual rollout. Yeah, some people will see the new start menu and some people won't. Actually, majority of people won't see the new start menu. Now, if you go into the Windows update history and click on learn more next to this update, it will open a website from Microsoft. And here under highlights in gradual rollout, expand the Windows 11 PC experience. And here you can see they have started rolling out the new redesigned start menu, but this is under gradual rollout. So again, you might not see the new start menu even after you get this update. You can do two things here. You can just wait for Microsoft to enable new start menu for you. And I'm pretty sure it will happen in coming week or two. Okay, it shouldn't take longer than that because the main update is already out. Okay, this is the update which contains the new start menu. Second, you can just enable it. So there is this free and open source tool called Vive. Using this, you can enable uh, the hidden features in Windows. So we can use this to enable the new start menu. So to download this, I'm gonna go to releases and after that, I'm gonna download the latest version. Under assets, I'm gonna download Vive Tool Intel AMD Zip. Okay, if you're on ARM PC, the new Copilot Plus PCs, you should download the second one. Okay, so I'm gonna download the normal Intel one. Now I'm gonna go to downloads folder and here I'm gonna extract that file. Okay, it's gonna be a zip file and I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna copy the address of this folder. Okay, now I'm gonna right click on the start menu and I'm gonna run the terminal as administrator and make sure uh, it's the command prompt. By default, it opens the PowerShell, but I have set the command prompt to be default. So. Uh, if you see PowerShell here, close that and open the command prompt here. Okay, now here type CD and then space and paste that the address of the Vive tool. Okay, and hit enter. Now we need to enter this code in here. Okay, copy this and paste that. Okay, and hit enter. Oh wait, I think I made a mistake. I had to do some research because the normal cd command is not working. Okay, if I do cd and paste the path, it's not working. So now it should work in your case, but so if it's not working for you, you can change the path. Then you can do cd forward slash d and space and put that there, the location and hit enter. Now it's working. Now we copy this now paste that and hit enter now it says uh, successfully set feature configurations okay now we need to restart our pc only then we'll see the new start menu so let me restart my pc okay i have restarted my pc now let's check out the new start menu yeah it's here it's big <laughs> very big and i can see all my apps in here in one page i don't have to scroll much and all the apps are in category. Okay, productivity, other, creativity, utility and tools, games, entertainment, and accessibility. Let's open one folder. 
and one thing you'll notice here is that uh, there will be folders inside folder steam okay and there is the google play games there is i don't know how and why but it is also detecting the android emulators games as a games which is actually pretty cool and i did not create any of the shortcuts for these games actually again just go to windows updates enable this thing if you want to get this update right now uh, this update will be available for everyone in coming week or two okay the start menu is also same even if you get this update I have this update installed you might not see this new start menu so you may have to just wait a couple weeks uh, and uh, yeah but if you want to enable it you can enable it right now again this is a gradual rollout that means it's gonna slowly roll out to everyone okay right now only few people will see this new start menu and there is one thing that i actually don't like about the new start menu I like the new start menu, but the search remains the same. It's smaller than the new start menu. It's not uh, consistent. But the good thing is that Microsoft knows this and they have already started working on this. So this is a Windows Insider preview build in dev channel and they have already fixed it in this build. So here they say Windows Insider with the larger start menu, the new start menu, will now notice that the Windows search now matches in size. And yeah, to be honest, I actually like the new start menu. And uh, let's check out the new start menus settings. Let's go to the start settings. And here you can see there are less settings now. This page used to be bigger and there were three different sections that you could choose, but now yeah, it's pretty simple. If you want to disable the recommended section, you can completely disable it now. Okay, that wasn't possible in old start menu, but now it's possible. Yeah, overall, I just love the new start menu. Absolutely love it. Okay, now let me know your thoughts in the comments. What do you think about the new start menu since it's now coming in the stable release? Again, this is also going to be available for Windows 11 24H2 because 25H2 and 24H2 are same thing. That's it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.